Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about conservation of energy for a rigid body. So as the name suggests, we use conservation of energy when energy is conserved. The equation for conservation of energy falls under the umbrella of work and energy. So it's a very special case of work and energy. Work and energy equation is a general equation. So if you remember, we said that the kinetic energy of the initial position plus the work that we do on our system would equal the final kinetic energy. So this work that we talked about here does not distinguish it between conservative forces or non-conservative forces. We can include any type of force, such as friction, external force, gravitational force, the force of a spring, and so on. But if only conservative forces act on our system, then we could simplify this equation to get conservation of energy equation. Kinetic energy, potential energy equals kinetic energy of the final instance plus the potential energy. Uh, so conservation of energy for a rigid body is the same as conservation of energy for a particle. Everything is the same here. The only difference would be the kinetic energy, that we have additional kinetic energy for a rigid body that we talked earlier, that would be half I omega I squared. You need to include the kinetic energy due to rotation. But anything else would be the same as what we talked before. The, cons the potential energy that we have, one of them would be the gravitational potential energy, would be mg y. If y is positive, then it's our potential energy is positive. We are gaining potential energy. You can think of it if we have a box here. If the box is moving in a positive direction, we have positive potential energy. And if you have two positions, it's better to set your coordinate system in one position. So you can say that the potential energy for the initial position is zero and the potential energy for the final position uh, would be mg y. It would simplify your problem. Or if we have a rotation of a rigid body, If our rigid body is rotating, the center of gravity would be the point of interest for finding potential energy, the difference in height. In case of a rigid body, sometimes it's easier to set your coordinate at a fixed point saying that, okay, this is my coordinate. And I'm gonna find this height and this height. Uh, for the other component of potential energy is the elastic potential energy that is stored in the spring. So that would be half K S squared. The elastic energy is always positive because it has the potential to do positive work. So this is different than the work of Spring. The work of a spring was always negative because the direction of force that the spring applies is always the opposite direction of the displacement. So that's one major ex uh, distinction that we need to make between the elastic energy and the elastic work. And in terms of kinetic energy, We have I omega squared and also the linear component of kinetic energy. Uh, so if you write the kinetic energy about the center of gravity, then you need to include both components because the center of gravity has a linear velocity as well. Or if you find your fixed point, that would be simplified to I O omega squared, assuming O would be our uh, fixed point.
Uh, one thing that we need to pay attention with conservation of energy is that we can only have two types of uh, uh, potential energy, the elastic and gravitational one. If you have non-conservative work, such as uh, friction or external work, you have to use the more general equation, which is the equation of kinetic energy and work. And if you remember, we defined conservative works are the conservative forces or the forces that the work done by them is independent of the path. So the work done by the spring is independent of the path and only depends on the initial and final location. So any problem that can be solved using conservation of energy can also be solved using work and energy. But remember the the other way is not true. If we can solve a problem with work and energy it does not necessarily mean we can solve it with conservation of energy. Conservation of energy is uh, another representation of what's happening to our system. So in many problems, uh, you have the choice of which one uh, to use. The structures are a little bit different. The main distinction was the elastic energy that is always positive and the elastic work is always negative.